So the right side is where everything you have on your host server is going to show up. Your left side is your actual computer, your local computer, your desktop, all your files. So you can just pull your files right from your computer onto the server and have them on your website in a flash. If you want to enter this manually each time, you'll put your IP address from your host in here and then your FTP username and password that you get from your host or create there and you probably won't need a port number but you may need to put in 21 or 22 depending on your host <clears throat> now go up to can't see site manager we're gonna add a new website so new site I'm gonna put <coughs> Drew on Q com as my thing. Put your IP address in from your host, not your IP address. I'm not gonna put a port number in. And in login type or log on type we're gonna put normal user put your FTP username and then your FTP password and by adding this new site you can go into site manager and connect and it'll all your information will be saved so you don't have to enter it manually at the top of FileZilla each time but you're welcome to do that and in comments you can just write whatever you want about the site or if you are only giving certain FTP privileges to somebody you can enter them here So this isn't going to be for my root. This is just for the DrewOnQ domain only. And connect. And there we go. Now I'm connected to my host. And you can see everything <clears throat> Excuse me. that's on the server here. I have a fresh WordPress install. you don't have anything on there you can just maybe create a simple HTML document and throw it on there to see if it comes up on your domain or you can install WordPress which is great so to go into a folder just click on it and you can navigate through this by if you click the dot 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 it'll back you out or remote site you can type it in or hit here get you back okay so as an example of uploading something I'm gonna upload a WordPress plugin to show you how easy it is to bring something from your desktop to the server. Here I have um, Visual Form Builder Pro, which is a cool plugin. And you could drag and drop it in there, or you can hit upload, or you can drop it into the actual um, plugin folder. Let me do it that way. So 
fall back out one. It'll just take just a second. Now if I go over to WordPress, and I refresh my plugins page, Visual Form Builder Pro should pop up. And there it is. And you could, I could delete it here in WordPress and it'll be removed from the server or I could do it through FileZilla which is what I'll do to show how easy it is to remove something from the server just right click it and delete Oh, yes. And refresh. And like David Copperfield, it is gone. And here's how to install WordPress manually, if that's what you fancy, with FileZilla.